Hi, I'm Christian. I'm Kylie. My name is Lucy. My name is Emily. My name is Conlon Harvison. This is my dad, and we're talking spirit riding free. So in episode one, there's a girl named Lucky, AKA Fortuna Prescott. This is Lucky, she's my favorite. So episode one starts with Lucky going to a new town. And she's from the city, but she moved to Miradero with her dad named Jim Prescott and her Aunt Cora. On the train there, she spots a wild horse being captured by Rancheros. Look out! Get him! Come on! By the way, his name is Spirit. She like, saw it get captured. And then her dad just explains that they were just wrangling the horse because it was wild and they weren't gonna hurt it. On the first day of school, Aunt Cora wants Lucky to look like a proper young lady. Aunt Cora makes Lucky wear a beautiful pink dress. She looks like a pink marshmallow with legs. She could barely sit down in her chair, so everyone is staring at her, and it was not pretty. First day, there's this snooty old girl named Maricela, thinks that she's like perfect and pretty, and her dad's the mayor. Daddy says her father is a railroad baron. Oh, I'm just happy I finally have an equal to socialize with. And then Lucky meets her friends, Abigail and Prue. Hi, I'm Prue, and this here's Abigail. I like your hair ribbon. Well, I like your horses. They're beautiful. Abigail is hilarious. Abigail is really silly, very silly. I love Prue because she's so adventurous. She's like the big sister, and I pretty much am a big sister to two littler sisters. And they each have horses, too. Abigail's is Boomerang, and Prue's is Chica Linda. You should let me ride a horse, Dad. Then, Abigail and Prue are talking about going to this canyon. They're going to blow it up to make a railroad. And Lucky has to save her friends. And then Lucky saw the horse from earlier, the wild stallion and then rode on it with no saddle. She zooms to the canyon, then tells Abigail and Prue, and then all of a sudden they're just riding out of that canyon. Bunch of explosions, boom, boom, boom. That's really scary, like you could really die. And Lucky and Spirit save the day. Young lady, you just became the owner of one hard-headed horse. What? But then she turns it down because she wanted Spirit to be free. But Spirit, he loved Lucky, so he came back. He's got a lot of Spirit. Spirit. You like her hair? Yeah. Whoa. It's a boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any questions so far? Yeah, who is uh, Lucky again? The horse? Episode two, Lucky and the Treacherous Tree. Spirit does not like being in the barn. <laughs> Spirit's really mad that he's trapped in a barn. He gets locked in and he busts a hole through the wall. Oh, any chance that was the wind? Why'd you put a wild horse in a barn? Like, it doesn't make any sense. We've got three days to get this place in shape. We can do this. Great, and I brought these. My favorite part has to be, obviously, the barn makeover. Because who doesn't like painting, decorating, bows, glitter? It's across the board for me. Whose dad sees the barn, and he says, what did you do to my barn? Crew makes a, like a course for Lucky to go on. And then she was like learning how to jump, and like how to stop Spirit without like hurting him. And one time when she was trying to jump, she got like really frustrated because she was trying to jump a high, high gate. Whoa, Spirit, whoa! whoa. Uh. <gasps> and then she like gave up. Lucky's feeling really sad. So she goes to Aunt Cora, who's making a, like a gazillion pies. But so random is that right when she took them out, they would go from here to here. They would flatten out. Cause it's like going down. Aunt Cora tells Lucky, like, when you're not good at something, make sure you keep on trying and trying until you succeed. And then right at that very moment, Aunt Cora made a perfect pie, finally. And so Lucky tried to, like, prove that she can ride a horse. Let's show him what we can do. <laughs> yeah. And she goes, and then she gets too scared. I don't know how to ride a horse. I've got to walk. She almost falls off this, the trail, then suddenly Spirit helps her, but then she realizes that Spirit's foot 
was injured and she was sad. She like broke Spirit's leg. Then Prue helps fix Spirit's leg and says that a good night's sleep will help it. And Lucky learns to keep trying even when it's hard. That's a pretty good lesson. It is. We'll still take it easy today. There's no rush. <laughs> Episode three, Lucky and the Mysterious Map. This is my favorite episode of all of season one. So in this episode, Lucky, Prue, Abigail, and Lucky's dad are going on a camping trip. Lucky and her friends got a treasure map. Where did they get it from? Lucky's dad gave her the map. I love to go on adventures when there's a map. I also like to do adventures in my backyard to see if there's anything weird in the backyard. One time I found a sock. <laughs> the land we're sitting on belonged to Old Respero. His treasure must be hidden somewhere close by. And of course, Lucky, Prue, and Abigail want to go look for it. Remember he gave me a map to find spirit toys? Yeah, that was last year when I was gone, huh? Yeah. For a trip. That was so much fun. Oh, good. In the morning, they try to find out the first clue. The first one, not even the dad could solve. But shockingly, Lucky could solve it in an instant. Wait a minute, it's like a constellation. Then on the map, they see like a snake. It creates a snake that looks like a river. <gasps> there, that arroyo's the exact same shape as the snake on the map. Some water gets on the map. From invisible ink makes a snake tongue that leads them into the waterfall. And behind the waterfall was a cave. But it's in a bear cave. And it is not pretty. Then they see a treasure chest. Then they try to open it, but it's locked. And then they look on the map one more time. Abigail saw on the map was weird skeleton teeth. She was like, wait a minute. That's the clue. The skull's teeth are the combination. So she clicked each skeleton correctly, and it opened. And it's filled with riches and crystals. Crystals? which made flint. Then they were finding treasure, and then there was a bear. Why? It's a bear! Ah! Then they find out that the shiny rocks had flint in them, so they set the sticks on fire, and then they were gonna try to fight against the bear. We have to fight him. Fight a bear? Prue wants to attack the bear, but Lucky tells them to hide. So Spirit and Lucky's dad have to save them. They rushed over there, and they saved them by pushing all the rocks away. Together! <laughs> Lucky, girls. They didn't get any treasure, but they got a really cool story. And then Abigail tells Lucky's dad the tale of how they found the treasure. Episode four, Lucky and the Competition Conundrum. Try to follow along. So in this episode, Lucky's class is holding a bazaar to see who will win student of the month. Prue, Lucky, and Abigail can't be partners because it's only partners of two. So then Lucky had a choice between Snips or Maricela. Who's Maricela? She's the one with the red hair. Snips, picking nose. Maricela. Snips. Maricela. And then she's like, Maricela and I are partners. <laughs> Who's Snips? Abigail's brother. Snips is very annoying. I get annoyed sometimes too by my little sisters. Big sister life. Maricela, for their entry, she wanted to do a classy cafe booth, like French food and pastries. Chocolate croissants. It's based on this cafe that Lucky knew in the city. I gotcha. Meanwhile, Prue and Abigail are making candles. We have to make tons of our amazing new rainbow candles. Which you can get at the store, so I don't really get why they did it, but they just chose rainbow candles. Maricela wants to ruin them. Why? Because they want to win. Win what? What are they going to win? Their name's on the student of the month board. Oh, okay. Maricela decides to try to cheat, and she starts to try to hide the candles from Prue and Abigail. Lucky catches her red-handed, but when trying to take them away from her, she drops them and breaks all of them. So Lucky tries to help prune Abigail, but she ends up ruining the candles. What happened? 
That's exactly what I was going to ask you. Oh, I must have forgotten to turn off the stove. Lucky, I can't believe you would do something like this. I didn't mean to. All week you've been competing with Prue and Abigail, but to stoop to this... It was an accident. Abigail and Prue find out that their candles are melted from her fixing it. Prue and Abigail were so hurt at first, thinking that she tried to sabotage them on purpose. But then they later forgive her because they realized she was just trying to help. We talked to Miss Flores for you. Good, because I never want to talk to her again. She said you can come back for the bazaar. Wait till you see what Turo made. Step right up, dunk a snips. Turo and snips decide to do a dunk tank. I'd like to put you on a dunk tank. That's and not I gonna happen. My favorite part has to be Abigail dunking snips. And she's like, I've been waiting for six years to do this. That was my favorite part. In the end, Turo and Snips, they went student on the month with a dunk tank. Sorry, I'm having the hiccups. I guess not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Episode five, Lucky and the Appaloosa Adventure. And this one, Lucky and Turo helped a horse. Who's Toro? He's the one with a green shirt. He's 14. So Turo has been saving up his entire life to buy a horse of his own. And while delivering a custom saddle with Lucky to Grayson, a horse owner, they see an Appaloosa being like tied up outside in the freezing cold. It gets barely any food. It's tied up to a rope all the time. No shade ever. They say that they want to do something about the horse, but Mr. Grayson says, Tell whoever you want, but there ain't nothing nobody can do about it. He's my animal. Grayson is really mean. Oh, no. So they sneak onto Grayson's ranch and try to free the horse. They go in, they tr rescue the horse, then they hear some lights go on. Hurry, Turo. <laughs> Abigail, Turo, and Lucky go to find the missing Appaloosa. They hear some horse sounds, then they look where it's coming from. He's down there! Oh no. So they had to free it real quick, because right then, the dam burst. And then the whole place floods. They barely made it through in the nick of time. When they came back to town, Grayson was angry. You can't take him. I can, and I will. No! In the end, Turo trades his saddle that he made for Grayson's horse. And he names the horse Junipero. Episode six, Lucky and the Not-So-Secret Surprise. So in this episode, it's Priya's 12th birthday. But her previous birthdays have not gone so smooth. One year, my dad sat on a beehive. Then the next year, there was the molasses incident. So Abigail and Lucky decide to plan her a surprise party. And they had a lot of trouble planning the party. Oh. Everything is a mess. So Lucky's dad totally messes up the cake. And Boomerang eats up all the decorations, and he also eats all this sugar. So he goes crazy. And then they get snips for the fashion show. Senor Carrots is ready for spring in a delightful pink pill box hat. They just randomly took Aunt Cora's hats without even asking her and put them on a donkey as a fashion show. He has a funny name, Senior Carrots. And then Aunt Cora looks over and she's like, I have one just like that. And that, and that, my hats! And then she's really mad that Snips was using her hats. And then Boo made a wish on a dandelion. Aww. Thanks, Chica Linda. This is almost as good as a birthday candle. If I made a wish, I would wish for a horse. What? I would wish for an unlimited bowl of mac and cheese. I usually wish on, like, mermaids to exist. Are you listening to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they take a big photo together. It was 
Not the prettiest birthday I've ever seen. But shockingly, Prue said it was her best birthday ever because she knew her friends put so much time and effort into it. Oh, I can't wait to see what you come up with for my birthday next year. <gasps> You're gonna 